Alright ladies and gentlemen, so today I'll be showing how to safely pack slings, juvies and sub-adult tarantulas for shipping. So normally for slings what I'll be using are these little pill jars, uh, specimen pill jars. This to hold around 1 centimeter, 0 0.5 to 1 to 1.5 centimeter um, slings. This is what I normally put the pill jars in. Uh, these deli cups can also be used for one inch slings on one inch juvies onwards. These two ounce deli cups can also be used for slings and juvies, presumably two uh, two centimeters and above. These are my particular favorites for shipping. They can hold both slings and juvies and you can stack them if you want to but I prefer to put them individually because stacking is not a good idea you can put in these dram bottles for juvies and above around 2 inches plus you can use these 6, six or 7 ounce deli cups and you can use these kind of uh, these kind of bottles, plastic bottles for sub-adults onwards. So, firstly I'll be showing on how to set up for slings. So what you want to do is to have on hand a set of tweezers, some napkin or paper towels, and f this is uh, strictly optional, it's not necessary. If you want to, you can, but I normally wrap around some aluminium foil so and let's not forget water I use these as my watering instrument but yeah let's start so open up the pill jar you got a piece of napkin tear a little bit of the corner let's make it real small Shove it in to the end. We all know what that means. Adjust the nozzle. Aim it inside. Hold on, let me see if I can get it focused. And just spray a little bit. That's a bit too much. As you can see, it's a bit too much. Um, much less than that. Let me see if I can remove some of the water. Because generally what you want to do is, you want to use, hold on, let me just redo this. Okay, scratch everything I said about uh, putting the tissue inside first. I just remembered you're supposed to wet the tissue before you put it in. So they can control the amount of moisture. So, forget that I said anything about that before. Just make sure it's damp not too wet to the point that the sling can drown push it in so push it all the way to the bottom make sure about that so there's a water source and a source of humidity for the sling so this is where you house the sling so where are you gonna house this that is when this three to four uh, three ounce deli cup comes in three to four ounce I'll say so what you're gonna do is basically take a napkin fold it up first layer at the bottom take another napkin make sure you have some on standby extend it open it up fold it till it's about the, the length of the wall of the deli cup and then you just line the line the wall up if it makes two two rounds so be it the more the better so once this is done what are you supposed to do simple dampen it this is to ensure while during shipping 
it doesn't dry out and the teas inside remain cool so once that is done got the sling Oop. sorry the sling pod just put it in this part I would generally emphasize it most of the time but at a point it becomes optional nowadays so what I will do is I'll grab some extra napkin fold it a couple of times fit it on top and spray a little bit on top So that's a packed sling right there in a sling pod. I call them sling pods. <laughs> so this is one way. The other way is if you use these. So set that up. It's exactly the same way how you set the, the holder for the sling pod. First, you gotta figure out the base. The base can be dry. And then another layer for the base. The second layer on widths is when you add a little bit of water. So that is set. Get another napkin on standby. Now it's time to line the walls. I forgot <laughs> I was supposed to break this into pieces. Only then will it actually settle in properly. Forgive if my voice is very different. I'm having a bad fever and a sore throat. <laughs> this particular type of shipping method is slightly more difficult but it's fun, truth be told. <laughs> Setting it up, it's fun. So there, you have like a hollow entrance for it. So what you're gonna do is get your nozzle sprayer and, oops, add in some humidity and some water. So the moment water is in, it becomes much more easier to put in. So with that done, you can just take another small piece of your napkin, fold it up, and just like the holder for the sling pot, but instead of watering the top, you want to water the bottom. Put the sling in, cover it up, and make sure the top has ventilation holes. And there you go. It's done. As I said, make sure there are ventilation holes for all the enclosures. All can be done the same for all these size enclosures, so it's pretty much very, very generalized. But as I said earlier, this is highly optional, but I do it because it hap it might or might not happen the, due to you know temperature change you want inside to maintain. So what I will normally do is get some aluminium foil, cut an appropriate size piece, I'll say about this, let's say if you're going to be shipping this one. Too much napkin. We need less. Why did I why did I cut it earlier? Oh yeah, I forgot. Napkins are hard to cut. Okay. 
ignore my amazing scissor skills. So put everything else aside, get this, and ensure that it fits perfectly, put it in the center. If it fits, this is what I'll do. Dampen it, dampen the tissue down. Place it right at the center. And you're done. It's out for shipping. Same can be done for these, uh, this one. The same procedure, get a napkin, wrap it around, like dampen it up a bit. Hold on, let me just do a slight demo for you. Put it on top, suits the size, water it down a little bit, get the enclosure or the jar, wrap it up, at this point you might want to put some tape here or like a double sided tape, press down the bottom. Make sure it covers up properly. And there you go. Two perfectly set up. Uh, two perfectly established sl uh, sling keepers, tarantula keepers when you're sending out for posting. Yeah. So yeah, this is the video. I know it's long, but trust me. I hope you like it. Take care. Bye.